Hey guys, uh, it's me, Florian, uh, aka FA. Um, today I've got a little special for you. I'm not in the comfort of my own home, as you can tell. I'm uh, in the woods today. It's really, really beautiful out. It's not too hot, not too cold. The air is really fresh, uh, just the way I like it. And I apologize about my voice. I seem to have something stuck in my throat, and I uh, have a problem kind of getting it out. <coughs> But that's okay, it'll go away eventually. I get this every morning after I get up. I guess that's what you get when you smoke. Um, anyway, today I've got a little special for you. Um, I'm going to talk about something a little bit more sensitive uh, from the usual thing. Uh, I'm currently at Two Sock Junction in Littleton, New Hampshire. Uh, close to where I live in New Hampshire. Uh, I live in the town of New Hampshire. It's a little bit of a walk, but I don't mind it. It's really nice uh, out in the woods. And um, anyway... A couple of years back, uh, something happened here at Tusok Junction. You can see two shoes hanging there. And I'm going to tell you the story. Uh, and this video is about something a little bit more touchy. It's about suicide awareness, actually. Um, a couple of years back, a kid here at Little New High, high, uh, Little New high School uh, was really, really depressed. He had uh, anxiety uh, problems, depression, uh, the, t the typical um, mental disorders that many teenagers today suffer from uh, due to numerous things. I'm not saying it's all due to one thing. Definitely not. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, he left a note at a home uh, on the kitchen table and came here to Tusok Junction. And uh, when his parents came home, they found the note in the kitchen. And the note read that they can find his body here at Tusok Junction, uh, that he can't take it no more, and that he's going to attempt to end his own life. The parents immediately called police and came here to, to Tusok Junction. I don't know what it was called back then. I, I think it was Two Fork Junction because there's like a, a second path going down right here. Anyway, um, police arrived here within minutes uh, to find the boy sitting right over here on this... Uh, little marker on this boulder right here. These stones on top weren't here yet at that time. He was sitting on this boulder. About to take his life. About to commit a suicide. Afterwards, um, the marker was put up. This is where he sat. And the shoes were hung up in his memory. To anyone uh, so distraught, so sad, so depressed, that they actually want to take their own life. I won't lie, um, I was diagnosed with depression many years ago. Um, yeah, I, I used to have uh, struggles with suicidal thoughts, and uh, after my grandmother passed away about seven months ago, uh, I honestly, I was very disturbed. Uh, I had a hard time dealing with the loss. Uh, there were moments I actually really when suicide popped in my head and I thought, man, oh, maybe maybe I should do it, but in the end, no. There's, there's too much to it. If y'all have problems with suicide or suicidal thoughts, get help. Please. The help is out there for anyone. If you have struggles with suicidal thoughts, go to the ER. Call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Text the crisis line. The crisis line... Uh, is text only. Uh, the text number is 741741. It's really easy. It's a six number digit. A six digit number. Blah, blah, blah. The ER is there. There are psychologists and doctors out there. Every person out there is loved. No matter what. If any of you have problems, contact me. I'm here for you. I care. Go to the ER. The doctors will take care of you. They're not going to lock you away in some insane asylum just because you're struggling with, with things in your life. That's that, that's not how they react to it. What personally helped me a lot was counseling. I received counseling from a psychologist. I took uh, antidepressants. And it really straightened up my life a lot. And just, if, if you are struggling with depression, seek help. Don't, don't feed it into yourself. It's not going to help you. It's not. It, it really won't. Suicide is a really, excuse my French, it's a really shitty thing. Because you're gone, and then the loved ones of you, the people that love you and care for you, will take forever to get over you. They will mourn you for months on hold. 
And your suicide can cause another person's suicide because they become so distraught they don't know what to do either. They think, okay, he did it, so why can't I? People, if you struggle with suicidal problems, seek help. The help is out there. You only have to reach out. Anyway, as I said, if you've got problems, go to the ER. If you feel like you're actually going to go through with it, go to the emergency room to the nearest hospital or call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Now when I put this up, I'm going to put in some contact numbers for you guys, just in case. I'll uh, put down the uh, NSPL number, the crisis line, a couple other uh, things. Uh, so, you, so if any of you see this and you struggle with suicidal thoughts, you can check out the resources. The resources are there, the help is there. All you got to do is reach out for it. It's not hard. And you won't regret it either. It's very helpful. And they're not going to do anything to harm you. They're not going to lock you away in some insane asylum. Just please, people, if you struggle with suicidal thoughts, go get help. It's serious. You're not alone. You have loved ones that care for you. Heck, I don't even know you and I care for you. I care for every single person that watches my videos and that doesn't watch my videos. Every life is precious. And I don't know if, if this will inspire anybody, if this video can help save one single life, then it's done its mission. I'm there for any of my fans, anyone who watches my videos. If you need help, you can contact me as well. I'll help you out as much as I can. So please guys, if you struggle with suicidal thoughts or have suicidal issues, contact help. The Suicide Prevention Lifeline will help you. The Crisis Line will help you. They will hook you up with help if you need it. You just got to reach out for it. Um, as I said, I'm going to put some resources uh, into the video uh, description. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And um, I think I'm going to take some pictures and make a, a slideshow video because it's really beautiful out here. And um, that's that for today. So guys, take care of yourselves. And if there's a problem or if you're struggling with suicidal thoughts... Contact help. It's really not that hard. Your life matters a lot. Y'all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And remember, suicide is never worth it. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Alright. I'll talk to you later, guys. Peace out.